Well, good morning. Thank you so much for giving up some time during the day to be with us today. I unfortunately am out of country at Anissa Fall Leadership, but I wanted to be able to provide a personal message even though I can't physically be in the room. Um, we are going to be talking today about our reaccreditation visit with the New England Association of Schools and Colleges. And in that visit, we wanted to talk about part three, which is the synthesis of the entire self-study report, and talk about how it, ra how it really um, lays a roadmap for the next five years for ASD, and support staff is an important part of that roadmap. So let me give you just a little bit of background um, about accreditation in case you're unfamiliar with it. We have been accredited with New England as a school since 1994. And every 10 years, um, a large reaccreditation process ensues, where after two years of what is known as a self-study, a visiting team, um, this year consisting of 14 people, will come from around the world, from international schools, really all throughout the world. They will have had a copy of the self-study, they will have read it, and then they will be visiting with us. They'll be in classrooms, they'll be all through the school, they'll be talking with everyone, and they'll be verifying, confirming the report, as well as adding their own thoughts and they will um, provide these verbally as well as in a report that is sent to New England. Now, um, just a moment, why to reflect on why is accreditation important? In a sense, it's like the stamp of approval that a school has that says that this school meets standards for what makes for a quality school. And um, this, this accreditation actually for many countries is required in order to exist as an international school. It's also very important in the process of our graduating seniors um, when they apply for colleges in many countries of the world. Um, if you are not from an accredited school, it, um, it, it doesn't um, speak to the quality of your program in order for graduates to attend that university. So it's an important process, and um, really the past two years have been a rigorous self-study. For New England Association of Schools and Colleges, there are actually 22 standards that encompass the span of many that relate to curriculum areas, but many that relate to the facilities, governance and leadership, faculty and support staff, um, access to teaching and learning, many different areas within those 22 standards, if you believe it, there are 182 indicators that all of the committees used as they gathered evidence about where did the committee feel we were in alignment with those indicators. And each committee rated, um, rated us from um, fully aligned to not aligned. So all of that was put into a self-study report. Um, and today we are going to focus on part three of the self-study report, which uh, a steering committee pulled together from parts one and two to provide areas where the school is strong and areas that need strengthening. Now this is particularly important for support staff because based upon evidence that was collected and that evidence will be gone into today, to today um, support staff emerged as one area that is an area needing strengthening. Um, we at, at this meeting will have representatives of the steering committee and administration um, with you as you look at these areas and also have some time to discuss in particular the, the goal that relates to support staff. So that's the background. Um, I wanted to set the context Again, thank you for being here. Know that this is an important um, step for us as October 31st through November 6th, we will then host the visiting team. And, um, and at different times, visiting team members may be talking to you. They have asked to speak to support staff as um, in a small group, so we'll ask for volunteers to meet with them. And of course, we want you to be familiar with the words of the report. Thank you very much, and um, I'll see you next week.